This episode contains flashing images. Welcome to Chewing the Cut. We are here with our Halloween special episode, but don't be scared. We still have our roundup of ghostly showbiz news, vampire bite worthy stories from the internet, and we have dug up the zombie that is our life lesson. Now it's time to say hello to the man who's dead. Sorry, dead busy. It's Mike Benione. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Have you done something different with your face? Uh, just a little week? bit horny. Oh. Just a little bit. Nice. Yeah, I, th I thought I'd make an effort this this time. Oh, uh, I just didn't put any makeup on today. I, I know. I can tell. Just went natural. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's your age. Um, I've been reading the entrails of sacrificial bunnies to find you lots of stories, including what a deadline would say. You can keep in touch with us on all the usual social media at The Cud TV. Our website is at thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us as a podcast, search for Chewing the Cud. Right, you. Are you ready for another smashing? Pack your pardon? No, I, I mean in the... Day of the Week. After the show, the producer is off to visit his new gentleman friend who runs a vineyard and winery. He says he can't wait to taste his friend's grapes and see how he makes people wine. Do you like a Bordeaux in the boudoir or a Sauvignon in the sitting room, Lee? Uh, I prefer a Vimto in the vestibule. Well, what could go better with a Semillon than a nice bowl of pasta? Let's play animal, vegetable, mineral or pasta. A point for each we identify correctly, but if we spot a pasta, we double our points. If we fail to spot a pasta, we lose everything. It's all or nothing for pasta there, Lee. Mm -hmm. Let's have the first slide. So is this animal, vegetable, mineral, pasta, agoraphobia? So all I've got in my head is animal, vegetable, mineral, pasta, I'm the one you need, I'm the one you need. What's that from? It's a song. From who? From a long time ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every time I say that, I just think of it, I am the very model of a modern major general. Oh, okay. But yeah. I, I think agoraphobia isn't a, a, a pasta. No, it's, it, agoraphobia is, is afraid of going outside. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Then? Oh, you want to know if it's... A, um, <laughs> so it has to be one of the four things. It's got to be one of the four. Animal, vegetable, mineral... Or pasta. I think it's an animal. I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with vegetable. Okay, shall we see? Yeah. Oh, hey, it's, it's a, beetle. a beetle. It's an animal. Yay, me. Oh, I like their music. The Beatles. Mm. Mm -hmm. Shall we have another one? Yes, let's have another go. Okay. Animal, vegetable, mineral, or pasta, sodomide. Okay. I've been called that before. Have you really? Mm. A sodomide? Mm. I'm gonna so I'm gonna uh, um, I'm gonna go with mineral because it sounds minerally. It sounds minerally. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, haunted fingering. <laughs> um, <laughs> haunted fingering. You don't even know it's there. <laughs> oh dear. Reminds me of my ex. <laughs> I think that this is a pasta. You think it's a pasta? Mm -hmm. Shall we have a look? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So I'm right. It's a mineral. It's a mineral, yes. There you go. So one well point for me. Yes, but I've lost all my points. Oh. What well, point? Shame. Yeah, because it wasn't a pasta. No. Okay. Well, let's get the next one up then. So, animal, vegetable, mineral, or pasta, a caravan site. <laughs> Oh, you see, that could fit into the animal or the vegetable um, section. Um, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go for pasta, because haven't, we haven't had pasta yet, have yeah, we? And I'm going to go for pasta because I've got nothing to lose. No, I have everything. Yeah. yeah. Can we see? It is a... Ooh, trying to make it smaller. Oh. Uh, 
it's a mineral. Oh, a calcium vandium silicate. So you've lost your point. No. And I, I'm still on zero, so. Mm, okay. Let's let's love one another. Let's love one another. No, let's not do that. Let's love another one up. <laughs> you might have been saying love one another, but yeah. <laughs> slightly bunged up. No, it's like yeah. love one My another. My brain is exposed, <laughs> so you know. Um, um, animal, vegetable, mineral, or pasta? Arsehole. <laughs> Arsehole. <laughs> so yeah. Um, is that an animal? I'm going to say pasta because if you say it in an Italian accent, which we have proven in the past, that, that you can't do. Arsehole. Is um is is a legitimate. Do you know how many letters we get when you do an Italian accent? None. <laughs> lots of complaints. <laughs> arsoli. Okay. Mm. So you're saying arsoli is pasta? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with vegetable. Okay. Let's reveal it. Just choke a bit. It is. Oh. Oh, it's a mineral. Oh. Oh. So, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. It was going to be one of the four, wasn't it? Yeah. 25% chance. Are we, in, are we in minus points now? No, you can't do minus points. Can we not? We're just at zeros. Just at zeros. Yeah, let's not go minus points. Okay. We'll never get any positive numbers. No. Should we have another one up? Okay. So, animal, vegetable, mineral or pasta, coming tonight. Brought to you by the people that brought you chicken tonight. Mm. And you promised me yesterday. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that coming tonight is a pasta. I feel like coming tonight. Um, <laughs> Need a tissue? No. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, <sighs> one of the four things? One of them, yeah. Which one are you going to pick? You've got um, animal, vegetable, <laughs> mineral or pasta? It's vegetable. Vegetable. Yeah. Vegetable. How much have you had to drink? <laughs> <laughs> it's all the blood. Yeah, should, should we have a look? Yeah, go on. Oh, it's oh. another mineral. Its official name is magnesium iron silicate hydroxide. Uh-huh. Coming, Coming tonight. tonight. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> um... <laughs> Sorry, it's about, about spirit enter me. Fuck it all. Fuck it all. Um, that sounds like like it could be an ingredient in chewing gum. Mm. Minty fresh now with fuck it all. Yes, or mm. toothpaste. Yeah. Yeah, or a, a or pile product. cream. <laughs> pile cream. Mm. Why did you go for, for mouth to? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I, I think it might be a pasta. Fuck it all. Fuck it all. Yeah, I'll go with pasta. Yeah. <laughs> you stop with the, once again, complaints. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Shall we have see? a look. Oh. oh. It's alcohol. Which derived is... from the sugar. Which, it, it, ugh, which comes from seaweed. I mean, I'm slightly concerned I didn't know that that was alcohol. Well, yeah. No. Oh. You need to suck on some seaweed. Well, that's not the first thing I've been told. Anyway. <laughs> Should we have another one? Oh, if we must. Oh, of course we must. Gesterone. Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Or pasta. Or pasta. I'm very low on my gestosterone levels, Hi. usually. Mm -hmm. And I have to go and... Um, Did you get it injected? In the hospital. That's not what... Oh, never mind. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with a, a mineral. You're going with a mineral? Yeah. I, I'm desperate for a pasta. Yeah, yeah, right. So I'm going to go for pasta again. Let's see. Oh. oh. It's a molecule found in fungus. So, 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 so is it a vegetable then? They're giving you the point. Am I? Yeah, they're getting you the point. I'm getting the point. They're getting the point. Okay. Okay. Should we have another one then? Oh, I, 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 I'm kind of beyond caring at this point, but, you know. <laughs> Animal, vegetable, <laughs> Animal, vegetable, mineral or pasta, zitty. Which is not what Zippy was going to be called to start with. He had a pimple problem. Oh. Yeah, but it got better. Yeah. I, I've, I've been really lucky with saying pasta so far, so I'm going to stick to it. What they say about the definition of insanity is continually saying the same thing and expecting a different outcome. I'm saying pasta. I'm going to go with pasta because it sounds like a pasta. Okay. Zitty. 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 Sounds like 
<laughs> yeah, zitty. Should we have a look? Oh, oh no! Oh! Yay! Hooray, hooray! Lee has two points, Mike has one point. I have two points. You have two. And I you have, have no points. I have one point. Oh. Singular, but I still, still exists. So. Yeah. Now, Mike, explain how that's worked. Okay. Because you kept getting the wrong answers. Okay. So, so you've got two points because we doubled your points. Mm -hmm. You had one point already, so that gives mm -hmm. you two. Mm -hmm. And I had zero. Mm -hmm. And I got double that, which is still zero. Mm -hmm. But the gallery felt pity on me and gave me a point. Mm. I still win, though. You still technically have won. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's, let's move on now. Let's move on. Are we not doing another one just to make me... Oh, are we no. doing another one? No. Are we, not, are we not doing another one so that I can win? No. Oh. Time's up, loser. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not long now until we bring you a very special life lesson. But before we get to all of that, we have Lee and the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Although he sparkles in the sunlight, he eats a lot of garlic, so we know he's not a vampire. It's Lee with the showbiz news. Can we just mention, no, it's Halloween. It is. Yeah, so it's spooky. Ooh. But I've just noticed this pumpkin next to me. Uh-huh. Okay. So look, pumpkin from, from there. There's a suspicious hole been drilled in the back of it. Mike, are you responsible for that? I can actually get a smell of ammonia coming out of this. Well, you shouldn't get ammonia. I washed out afterwards. Okay, so you, so because I know what you like with your. It was. I used it as a Halloween dance. Uh, okay. Do you want to, do you want me to do it again now? No. Okay. Can I have some matches and set that on fire? Afterwards? Huh? You won't be able to set that on fire. Let's dry out first. Okay. All right. Um, sh so spooky showbiz news. <laughs> can you do? Can you do an evil laugh? Um, ha 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 ha. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, uh, I'll try again. Okay, go for it. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna come now. Oh, oh! Something came over me. It did, didn't it? Oh, <laughs> Daddy Satan. Surprise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, showbiz, spooky showbiz news. So, um, do you remember the, the film... 21st the... night of September? No. Um, no. You, that you remember. <laughs> yeah. Not the, <laughs> not the other song. Um, do you remember the film The Witches? The Roald Dahl classic. Yes. Yes. Well, it's been remade. Ooh. Hollywood have remade it. That is the new poster mm. for The Witches. Um, it's got Zaddy um, Stanley Tucky in it. Mm -hmm. um, it's got um, other people in that I need to look at. <laughs> so it's <laughs> Anne Hathaway. It's got Anne Octavia Hathaway. Spencer. She's playing the Grand Witch. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, Kristen, Chris, I'm going to say Kristen Chenoweth. Mm -hmm. So she's been doing things like she did Glee and stuff like that. I think she's kind of one of the witches. Okay. So um, it's a remake of the 1990 Jim Henson produced classic. Mm -hmm. I don't think that she is going to be able to match Angelica Houston's Grand Witch. See, I wasn't allowed to watch that movie when it came out. Why? Because I was very young. Were you? Very young at that point in time. Okay. Um, still the single digits, young. Oh, okay. Um, so I only actually watched it late 2000s. Okay, and were you scared then? Of course I was. Okay. I had, to, I had a wet seat afterwards. Oh, okay. Yeah, not that kind of wet seat. Okay. Oh. It's, in America, it's going straight to streaming services. All right. Um, because of the Rona. But we are getting it at this, the, in the cinemas here in the UK. Okay. So it's, it's a, I've seen the trailer and it's pretty faithful to the original but mm -hmm. we're never we're never sure about remakes no. so what i did was i did put a post on the social media mm. of our social media asking our viewers what they thought of Ooh. the potential remake so the first person that we have we had andrew green who is one of the guys that does the circular bear project who we've yeah. had on as a guest mm -hmm. and one of our top fans and one of our top fans yeah he just said it's too glossy 
Too glossy. Well, it's supposed to be glossy, isn't it? It's a movie. Too Hollywoody. Too, you know, shiny. Well, it's not going to be pretty. death and things in there, isn't it? It's not mm, going to be... Well, you don't know. I kind of, I kind of get what he's, what he's yeah, coming from. It's, it's very polished. Polished, yes. We also had a post from Stacey79 on Insta, didn't we? Mm, we did, yeah. yes. And she said, definitely not. The Witch's original was epic. I hope the remake will be as scary. Pretty sure I spent ages after seeing it checking out everyone's feet to see who had square toes. I think that says more about her than it does oh, yeah, the actual yeah, film, a, to be fair. Bit of a story there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we had, we had friend of the show Sharon. Sharon West. Sharon West. Oh, lovely Sharon West. Popular recording artist Sharon West. Yeah. And, and she said, I loved the first one, very British. Mm, it was very British humour. Yeah, the, so was scary. Wasn't not it? sure if that's going to get carried over into the to the remake. Mm. Fingers crossed. You know, I like. Well, I like that the best bit in the film is where they obviously take their heads off and they're witches underneath the masks rather yeah. than the heads. Well, you know, <laughs> Deca decapitate themselves. Yeah, I like. Uh, if I remember rightly, I'm sure. Um, what's the actress that played Bubble in Abfab? Jane Horrocks. Yes. I'm sure Jane Horrocks was one of the witches. She was. Yeah. It was, it was a whole selection of um, the British witches that were... character actresses quite, and actors. Quite well-known people. Yes. The bit in it that was the most disturbing for me was the picture on the wall where the witch had put the child in there mm -hmm. that could never escape and she got older and older and older until she died. It's a metaphor for life, that, isn't it? Is it really? Mm-hmm. OK. We live, we are born, we live. <laughs> That's a very unique way of... We are it. born, we live. We live, we are born, <laughs> we die, we live again. We, <laughs> if we go lucky. to the shops. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that is coming out quite soon. Oh. How vague could I be with that? <laughs> well, we know that it's you know, coming out quite soon. <laughs> unless they change their minds like they did with James Bond. Well, um, yeah. so yeah. yeah. It might be out soon, it might not be. It might not be. Who knows? So, so as it is Halloween and mm -hmm. the veil between reality and the afterlife is thinner. Look, oh, you is can tell it is because it's doing, doing that. This. <laughs> Ooh. Um, we don't know what's going to happen with Rona and and because we're not really supposed to be doing any hallo um, trick or treating. No, it's not really loud, and we're it's not, not really supposed to be having Halloween parties because of the social distancing. So we're going to have a look at past Halloween costumes worn by celebrities. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, let's lob a picture up and see. Let's lob the first picture up now. So this is Harry Styles. Yeah. Dressed as Harry Styles. No, it's Harry, St <laughs> <laughs> it's Harry Styles dressed as Rocket Man Elton John okay. at a Halloween party, Halloween party in 2018. Would you? Mm. Would you fire his rocket? I'd have a go. You'd have a go. Just because I could tell people then. Okay. So, in America, they don't tend to do particularly spooky Halloween costumes. They're kind of like dress as anything and go, oh, it's a, I'm a letterbox. That, oh, I'm Halloween. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> uh, a bag of Brussels sprouts. Oh, it's Halloween. Um, so, so some of them are not particularly... <laughs> Brussels sprouts. <laughs> it's like just random. You know, ooh, I'm this week's copy of TV Quick. Um, the... <laughs> so the next one we have got is, this is the model Winnie Harlow mm. as RuPaul. I obviously. could see that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was taken in 2018, when we were still allowed to, to do things. We still allowed to do things now, just not yeah. with people. Just not with people. Yeah. Um, so quite a, that was quite a good one. Mm. It kind of went... went quite went, for that. Went, okay. Not scary again. But... Not scary, but, you know, it's, it's Halloween. So this next picture is... Um, Kelsey Grammer, Grammer as Sideshow Bob. So that's not really him dressed up in a costume. No, because he is Sideshow Bob. He is Sideshow Bob. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that is quite good. That is like, me is that meta? What does that mean? Meta. Yeah, meta. <laughs> meta. Meta. Like, I, art imitating life, imitating art. I don't know what I'm saying. No, OK. Stick a finger <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's have another picture. So, another celebrity dressed up for Halloween. I like this one. Again, it's Ooh, not spooky. I like it. That's but a lot of fun, this is it? Neil Patrick Harris, his husband, and his and his kids, and they're dressed as the Star Wars characters in in 2015. Can you name which ones they are? No. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Nope. J I, I give you a clue. The, the ones at the front. Han, Han, Han Solo. Han Solo. The, 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 can we have the picture back? Thanks. They got the ones at the front. Um, Princess Leia and Luke yeah. Skywalker. Yeah. Han Solo. Yeah. And um, the one that goes, um, use, use the, the force, force Luke. Yeah. But I don't know what it's called. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh. What I am liking about this picture is yeah. crammed in like a little cave <laughs> is a Yoda. <laughs> Oh yeah, so there is. Yeah, that's really good. I like that one. Yeah, so that's good. I would give the, I'd give them points yeah. for, that, for that one. <laughs> Chuck some bl fake blood on, yeah. you know, for Halloween. But you know, okay. Shall we have? Shall we have one more? Mm, one one more. more. I. This is good. This is Rihanna and her posse. Okay. Dressed as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, back in 2015. What I love about this picture is, is that all of um, the rest of her friends and Rihanna are all being all dead sexy. But the friend on the left mm -hmm. is just going, Woo! Why would you not? Yeah, she, she doesn't care. Ah. Yeah. So what, whatever you're going dressed as this year, make it good. Don't be a Brussels sprout. But be all, be, be, oh, sorry, I was just, I was just possessed a little minute then. But, above all, be safe. Yes, and if anyone wants to do reverse trick-or-treating, that's brilliant. And that's reverse trick-or-treating? That's where you put Mars bars through my letterbox. Is that a euphemism? No. And that is the end of the Halloween showbiz news. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Coming up soon, we have our life lesson. But before we deal with that, we've got to endure the torture that is Mike and the Buzz. Well, welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to our very own gay spur, the friendly ghost. It's Mike, Benny and Roe with the Buzz. Well, that's an interesting one. A gay spur, the friendly ghost. Mm. How friendly are we talking? Are we talking, hi, how are you doing? Or is there a restraining order out for you because that's too friendly? Oh, I don't really know. It depends if there is ectoplasm involved okay. or it's just kind of dry. OK. Mm. Well, that's good to know. OK. Um, but I have been having a bit of a troll around the internet for, for halloween -y things. halloween -y. I wasn't going to... Are you doing magic there? I was... halloween -y. <laughs> <laughs> I am the campus Satan around. Yeah. I am. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we've had some, some fun things on there. Have we? Yeah. Um, first one I saw was from Dallas Soul. Who? Dallas Soul. Dallas Soul. On Twitter. Okay. Um, who managed to find a pumpkin and give it some lashes. Oh, that's cute. I thought that was very cute. I like it. Um, it's technically not a pumpkin, it's technically an orange. I was thinking but I'm it letting looks like a, a Satsuma. I'm letting a slide because it's pumpkin-esque. Yeah. And to get proper lashes like lashes that. Lashes that a, big are massive. Yeah. Mm. So on a, on a pumpkin would be quite impressive. Yes. Um, Stephen on Twitter shared one of our all-time favourite cooks, um, Etta Garden, which is, if you can't summon the flames directly from hell, store-bought is fine. Who's that? Barefoot Contessa. Oh, OK. Yeah, um, she's famous for saying, if you can't buy this, store-bought is fine. Oh, OK, she, I assume she's American. She is American, oh. yes. Um, she's quite famous for, for cooking for presidents and things. Her husband was a, oh. an ambassador and oh. she, she cooks with a lot of butter. Oh. She's a good cook. She likes the butter. She likes the butter and the cream and the... Oh, OK, I think we would get on. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Um, and then I found a little bit of history. Oh. OK, which is about the witches allegedly stole penises and kept them as pets in the Middle Ages. Did they? Yeah. And then this, this meme also says, it's sad how many traditions we just let die. That camera. Ooh, penises in jars. Mm. Oh, no, no, not in jars as pets. In, as, as, as pets. So imagine snuggled up on the sofa and you get a dog coming over to you and saying hi. It's just having a penis there. Just a penis? Just a penis, yeah. On a string? On a string. Or a lead. 
or, or a tiny hamster cage going round a round or a, a wheel. Little, how, uh, <laughs> a hamster <laughs> ball. He kick off the floor. Flop, <laughs> flop. Flop. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when did that die out? After the Middle Ages, obviously. Oh, okay. Probably when we were busy burning. Okay. So, so the people that they they stole the penises from uh -huh. did they did they carry on living penisless? No. They died. <laughs> they just died and kept all the Aww. penises. Oh. It's a tradition I think we should bring back. I do, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe not killing the people. No. Maybe we should no. keep them attached to people. So really what I'm saying there is you I just keep a boyfriend as a, as, a, as a pet, <laughs> <laughs> is what okay. I'm saying there. Um, that's very niche. Yeah. I'm going to move on a little bit. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And this is a story that's come from BuzzFeed. Okay. Now, do you remember Cecil the Lion? No. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember about a year and a half, two years ago, the lion that everyone was having photos taken with, but then someone shot? Oh, in, in, in Africa. In Africa. On the plains. Yes. Yeah, I do. His Sad name was time. Cecil. Yes. Yes, Cecil the Lion. I do remember now, yes. dear, yes. <laughs> do you, dear? I oh, do, That's lovely, yes. dear. That's <laughs> nice, dear. <laughs> it's like talking to me, Nan. <laughs> um, well, a psychic has said she's spoken to Cecil from the other side. Oh, wow. Um, What's he saying, though? <laughs> she said, take heart, my child. I'm finer than ever grander than before, and no one can take our purity, our truth, or our soul. So he was a Victorian lion, then, I'll tell you. Forsooth, forthwith. <laughs> Forsooth, I have been killed. I have been maimed. <laughs> I have been slain. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it's nice to know he's doing well. It's nice to know he's doing well. So this is Karen Anderson, oh, hi, um, Karen. who is the psychic who said that she can speak to Cecil and other animals from beyond oh, the grave. So, do, so it's just animals that she can communicate yeah. with? Yeah. Oh. Just animals that have, have, Not like have passed on. small penises of witches that have passed on to the other side. Well, I don't know. She might be able to do oh, penises as well. Could, you? Yeah. I need to ask her. Yeah. Maybe we should get yeah. her on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, but talking of speaking of the dead, I believe that you're a medium, Lee. I mean, that's really kind of you to say, Mike, but, you know, at the moment, we're going into the extra-large territory. No, I, I mean you have the ability to talk to the dead. You mean I'm a psychic? Uh, not quite what I was thinking. No, well, you, well, yeah, I, I, have, I have a gift. My gift is that I can communicate with the souls that have gone to the beyond. Um, I also have, I, I have a homosexual um, spirit guide, he's called Alfonso, uh -huh. um, and um, it, I use him to spiritually lube up the entry to the other side. Alfonso? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's a 19th century Italian twink who, coincidentally, he used to sort of twink around this very building. <laughs> twink around this building? He did. He did he a really? twinkle. Yeah. It's a trick around this building. Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see if we can get Alfonso to persuade any entities to come forward, shall we? If there are any spirits who haven't had a match on Grinder, who want to make themselves known, please let us know. Give us a sign. Make a noise. Throw something. Rattle your Prince Albert. Oh, oh. I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm getting someone coming, I'm, I'm coming through, but I, I can't see the, I can't see the face, just, just the shape of the, of the chocolate starfish. Hang on, oh, oh, come closer, my child, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Oh, 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 very loves Very loves Basically, Mary loves Dick. Um, oh, yeah, that's it. That's okay. That's uh, I've gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Wow. Um, that was pretty intense. Are you okay? I'm. I'm fine, Mike. I'm fine. It's okay. okay. Alfonso, we got a little bit overexcited, and and. Oh, is that ectoplasm, or is he just pleased to see us? Salty. Um, so uh, I think I think it's time that we left this this realm. I think it's time that I, we we said goodbye to the afterlife. So I'm going to send them back. Okay. They've gone. It's okay. We're back. It's okay. I don't know what to do with this though. <laughs> it's like a tissue. I can wipe it on. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Can you not just wipe it on your, yourself? I'm not wiping ghost jizz on myself. If I'd worse. <laughs> going to take off my glove. Which, which, uh, yeah, have a tissue or two. It's all right, I've taken my glove off. Okay. If you've got, if you've come all over the table. Oh. It burns! <laughs> <laughs> there, it's gone. Oh, it's on that finger as well. Oh, this ghost jizz, it gets it's everywhere. everywhere oh, it? <laughs> God. Oh, moisturising yeah, though. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it yeah. in, rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Remember, viewers, it's better to have hope in your soul than soap in your... Don't what? say that. It's true. Don't have nightmares, people. And if something catches your eye on the internet, why not share it with us? Just look for The Cud TV on all your usual social platforms. We've been literally inundated with a Halloween-themed picture, which comes from Mr Cornelius Mandrake, who writes... Dear Mike and Lee, My wife has a nasty gash. She says she wants to scare the kids at Halloween by standing in the window and exposing it. Here's a pic. Mr. Cornelius Mandrick. Ooh. Rancid. That looks like a very septic gash. Mm. Yeah, no one wants that gash near him. No, she needs some germaline on that. Germaline. Mm. <laughs> Yes. Clear it right up. <laughs> like that. Like that. Or some TCP. Yeah. Just, you know, iodine. Or some spirit jizz. Just spirit write jizz. it on. Yeah, yeah. just that doing it. Well, since Lee's episode, there's not enough time to tell you about another story we had this week. Oh. Which is a shame. Sad. But it was good to meet Alfonso. It was. He's but always it, there. He's always there. He's always there in the back of my mind. Is he always leaving you with presents as well? Yeah. Mm. It's not good. Okay. Anyway, thank you, Mike. Don't ghoul anywhere. As coming up, we have our fiendish life lesson. Hiya, it's me, Alfonso. These two up there are ignoring me. They wheel me out for this Halloween special. And you know what? They'll ignore me for the rest of the year. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's clever. So, hello to all of you out there. I'm not sure why Lee's calling me a twink. I'm not even a twink. I was 47 when I died. But then, compared to Lee, I suppose I am. <laughs> anyway, coming up next is these two doing a life lesson. See you after this. Welcome back to our Halloween special of Chewing the Cud. Now it's time for this week's... Life Lessons. So this week's life lesson we thought we'd be a little bit gruesome. And so we're going to be eating things. That's lovely, isn't it? You're not looking impressed already, Lee. I know, what, I know what you've been cooking up in your <laughs> cauldron and I'm not happy. You're not happy? Not happy. Well, the first thing we've got to try mm. is some lovely little fruity nut things. Mm-hmm. OK. So, would you like some fruity nut things? What are they, though? Th there's, um, there's, um, seeds. Mm-hmm. And, um, there's, um, some fruit things, look like mm -hmm. cranberries. Mm -hmm. And just some mealworms. Mealworms. Just little, 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 little mealworms. Mealy worms. Nom nom nom. What do you think I'm a blue tit? Well. <laughs> That's how long I've been stood out in the cold. There we go. Okay. What is what is that thing there? Um, it's a brown thing. Well, is it is it alive? Oh no, it looks like a fruit. It looks like a dainty thing because it's got oh. seeds in it. I don't like the look seeds of that. Seeds or, or babies. Maybe it's oh, okay. eggs in it, I don't know. What do you want me to eat? I'm quite, I, I think... I'll quite happily eat that. Mmm, pumpkin seeds. No, 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 no. I think we should have a little bit of a mealyworm. So, so you, want me to, you want me to eat a mealworm? I think just one. Just one? Just one little mealyworm. Oh, I, can't, I can barely get hold of it. Oh, well. My hands are so smooth. Uh-huh. Okay. You've just snapped on it off, haven't you? No, no, <laughs> that, uh, that is... Do you want, so you want me to get a whole mealworm? No, I've got a whole one. Okay. I've got a nut in my teeth. Okay, right. So you want me to eat, you want me to put that in my mouth? I think we should both eat, chew, and swallow. Oh. You have to swallow, Lee. Right, here we go. You know what? 
they're not a safe sensation. But not horrendous. It tastes earthy. Yeah. I'm a celebrity, <laughs> get me out of here. Um, it doesn't work on this show, Lee. <laughs> so you're not enamoured by those then? No, they, they taste, they taste earthy. They're a, they're a bit blandy, but I know what you mean, they've got a bit of a, a weird taste. Um, we have some more mealworms, but um, they come with uh, some friends. And we all like, we all like friends. You never don't eat your friends, or do you? Well, you know, we have we have here some some lovely crickets as well. Oh, uh. mealworms and crickets. So I, you're not a fan of mealworms, so have a cricket. I think a cricket would be lovely. Oh, you can see its little body and everything. Well, yeah. Oh, jeez. I can see its face. Now, are you going to eat it face first or bump first? I don't <laughs> want to eat any of it. But which way are you going to eat it? I'm just going to put it in. Just going to put it in and see what happens. Okay. Oh, crunchy. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't like it? No. No. I'm not going to vomit. Ooh. I'm just They're very like dry. It. Yeah. Very dry. A bit like pork scratchings. Oh, okay. It's so that kind of dry without the salt fat. I'm slightly worried that mm. it will go into my stomach, yeah, huh? rehydrate, Come back to life. Did you crunch it? Yeah. It's not going to rehydrate okay. and come back to life, you're fine. It's okay. I don't want a cricket coming out my bum. No, no one wants a cricket coming out the bum. <laughs> not, not a second time, anyway. So, insects, are we saying no to insects? If, if I was mega desperate, uh -huh. then, you know, I would, I would, I would eat it. Yeah, it's, it's a gift that keeps on giving because it's a bit stuck under my tongue. I've got like some stuck in the side of my face. It's gone like granually. Yeah, it's, it's not. Mm. Yeah. It's not convenience food, really, is it? <laughs> so that's a leg. <laughs> 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 Who needs to floss when it flosses itself? Mm -mm. So should we say no more insects then? No to insects. No to insects. So we're not going to do insects. No. Okay. Go away, insects. Do you like lamb? No. <laughs> 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 like nothing that you're going to see. I, I, um, I'll eat. I'll eat a bit of bit of. Um, Bit of lamb, bit of lamb, bit of, bit of lamb. Uh, lamb cutlet. Cutlet. Well, we have something like lamb cutlets. I'm going to call these the boys. Oh, ooh. oh, the aroma. Ooh. Here we have. Oh, you no, I'm not. No, I <laughs> thought you were cutting them into tiny pieces so that we wouldn't have the, the full bollock there. <laughs> This isn't this isn't what we did in pre pre show discussion. <laughs> it wasn't. You're right. <laughs> it looks like an onion. <laughs> it does look like an onion. So here we have a lovely lamb. Uh, not a lamb, even just a cheap testicle. Oh, for God's sake! Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not putting that in my mouth. You're not putting that in your mouth. No. Well, would you like to put the other one in your mouth? Then? Oh, no, I'm not putting either any of them in my mouth. Would you not? I. I, 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 I want. I, I, and what's happened is, because they've, they've been cooling, they've got a little bit of jelly behind them. Oh, God, that's just... Oh. They've left a little bit of jelly, see? A little bit of, of testicle jelly. There's veins in it and everything. Well, so have yours. Now, I've been told the way you have to eat these. Uh, you've just took it in a bit. No, no, no. There's, there's a little, there's a layer of, of, of flesh on the outside that you have to peel off. So we have to peel it before we can eat it. Uh, I, 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 I can't, I so, can't so even, you have so to, I, can't, I can't bring myself to touch to it, Mike. Peel away, peel away. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. And then it's just as you peel away, so you get all this lovely, ooh, look, some more jelly. I can't. It is like chicken. Oh, it's firm. <laughs> it's firm. And then you, you peel this bit off. It's not veiny when you've peeled it. I don't care. It's a bit spongy. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. It looks like, you know those, um, those frozen things, you, those faggots you can buy? How dare you? <laughs> you know, Mr, what is it, Mr Brain's faggots and things? <laughs> so yeah, little bit of testicle. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah. No. Oh! Oh, gee. Oh! Oh, is it spongy? It is soft. It's a bit like, you know, when you get fat off the a steak. 
Um, it looks, it looks, it looks like an alien has given birth to it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's a sliding on the yeah. plate. <laughs> Just sli oh! <laughs> it's sliding and it's leaving a trail of juice. Well, if you, if you opened it, it leaves more juice behind. I don't want to open it. You don't want to open no. it? No. Who? Oh, God, there's like a thick membrane. Yeah, that's Whoa. what I said. You have to peel it before oh. you eat it. No. Are you, are you not? Give it a good poke. No, I, I poked it. Give it a, no, a really hard. No, poke. you want me to poke it so that my finger goes into the, yeah, do, into right. the ghostly. Into, into the meat. What? Oh, no, no! <laughs> it's not me. Oh. oh, God. Oh, we say no to that then. I'm saying no, never. Okay. Remove it from, from, can I just pick it up and throw it at the camera? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Okay, so that's your one pass. Uh, there will be more. No, no more passes. <laughs> oh, there will be more. So, so we're saying no to testicles then. <laughs> These testicles, yes. Cooked lamb testicles. But to be fair to a lamb, that's impressive. Mm. Little jump. That's why they're jumping about so much. They can't. Do walk. they? Do they? Do they swell in in the water? No, they shrunk. Oh, they're huge. Okay. Yeah, that's why they're fluffy to give you some pad padding. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to put okay. tissue over the top. You're going to pop a tissue over the top of it. It's so you don't at to look at it anymore. It's looking at me. Okay. Should we go for something no. different then? Yes. No. Yes? No. So you like this one because you're a zombie. And what do zombies eat? Brain. They eat brains. <laughs> and that's exactly what we have here. No. Some lovely little... Who's, who's brain? These are just brains. From what? From an animal. What kind of animal? I forget. Is it cat brains? It's not cat brains, no. I think it's something small. Rat? No, bigger than a rat. It's it's fine, it'll be f it's, it's been from a butcher, so it'll be fine. So I'll just pop one, one hemisphere on for you. They do have brain stem attached. Oh, I, I... I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm not, I can't even look at it. I can't even, oh, okay, look at for it. the, oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, oh, what is that green stuff? Oh, that, that's brainstem. Oh, God. It looks like a, a horrible prize on a game show. It this does. is what you can win. Yeah. The um, rancid brain of an animal that we don't really know what it is. If you give it a slight sniff, it smells like roast chicken. I don't think I can. <laughs> Ooh, that does not, you, you swine. It Ooh. does not smell like roast chicken at all. <laughs> it smells like death. <laughs> it does, they do not smell good. Yeah, I'm not putting that in my mouth either. I'm not putting that in my mouth no, either. Not even gonna I'm lick not it. even going to lick it. Nope. And the amount of things I put in my mouth that I regret, I'm not putting that in my mouth. Oh, if, if penises were like that, you'd never put one in your mouth. No, you're right, I wouldn't, but luckily, they're not. They're not. Well, thank the Lord we have come to the end of the show. But if you can't wait a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Cud TV on social media, thecud.tv for our website. And while you're on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips. Stay safe, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.